thought I thought he was uh, I thought he was introducing Chief Peg there, so I was just waiting. The greatest man ever, and so forth and so on. You know, I, I am happy to be here with Michael, of course, and I should tell you uh, that you know when you get down to City Hall, and it's like any business that any of you are involved in, or when you play on a team, you need to have people that play with you. You're no good by yourself. And uh, Michael Thompson has been an incredibly effective deputy mayor. He's been a great advocate for Scarborough in particular. Uh, and I've got to know the Scarborough part of the city much better over the last eight years because he's brought me to show me things and uh, repeatedly has me out here to do different things, including this. And so I want to say thank you to him because he, and he plays a much more important role than that too, I'll tell you this, across the city, which is there is no one who's more committed to bringing people together and making sure that everyone is treated with respect in the city. And he speaks up and says what he has to say when it's time to say it. So I want to say thank you, Michael, for all your hard work. I appreciate that. There you are behind me. I, uh, I'm not going to need too much more cheerleading because you've done quite a lot. But I will say, isn't it great to be able to be back together outside in the nice weather, actually sitting next to each other, actually going to a, a festival like this that's uh, put off for two years? It really is great, isn't it? I mean, it's something to celebrate. And I think we deserve to give the people who organize this, including the BIA, uh, we have everybody represented here, the business community. Uh, we have our first responders in our police service and our fire chief is here. And I just think we should sort of give ourselves a round of applause for the fact that we're back as a city. We're back. And I hope you'll take the advice given uh, by uh, Michael and the others, which is to come here, come back, bring your friends back, and make sure you support all of these businesses and support all the businesses that are around here too. They had a tough time during the pandemic and they're just coming back now and getting back on their feet and they need you to go and support them a little bit. I just met some people from Edmonton and I said, well, you know, you're down here from Edmonton. We need you to spend some money while you're here to make this place really go. And so if you meet anybody from out of town, remind them that we search bags at the airport on the way, of course, mind you, I don't think they're searching any bags these days, but we search bags at the airport on the way out to make sure you did some shopping. But most important of all, enjoy each other's company. You know, remind ourselves of why this is the best city to live in. Michael made reference to being the best city. It's the best city because we respect each other, we embrace each other, we love each other, we, we, we thrive off the differences that we have from one another, and that's what makes this city great. It's not about the buildings or the streets or the transit. Those things are all coming along. We're making improvements. It's about the people. So please have a good time this weekend. Uh, please give each other a hug. It's okay, you can give each other a hug now. Even hug a stranger if you want. Tell the mayor said it was okay. <laughs> have a wonderful time uh, over the uh, weekend at the Taste and we'll look forward to seeing you as we walk around. Thanks a lot. of Scarborough Centre have been enjoying and coming together to celebrate Scarborough food, Scarborough culture and Scarborough heritage here at Taste of Lawrence. I, we are here because of all the work which you have done in the last 30 months. Last two years have not been easy. So I want to take a moment to thank all of you for all the sacrifices you made to make sure we can get through COVID. You rolled up your sleeves to get the vaccine. The businesses here kept their lights open in the darkest hour. And here we are to celebrate Taste of Lawrence again. Come, enjoy with your families for the next two days. All of you will have great food here. The live shows will be here. So bring your friends, bring your neighbors, bring your relatives and celebrate Scarborough culture, Scarborough food and Scarborough heritage. That's how we celebrate here in Scarborough Center. And to all those who are celebrating Eid tomorrow, Happy Eid, Eid Mubarak, Eid Kareem to all of you in advance and looking forward to seeing you at the mosque for the prayers tomorrow. 
Okay, we'll see you. I have a booth here. Come and enjoy some cotton candy and popcorns and get information about our uh, uh, work which we do. Thank you. Thank you so much, MP Salman Zaid. You know, I feel so happy to see so many people here. Special Mayor, how are you feeling? Fantastic. Yeah, and everyone, put your hands together for being here and enjoying this wonderful festival. And so at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our new MPP for Scarborough Center. Do you know who that is? David Smith. Shout his name. David Smith. That's right. Put your hands together and let's welcome MPP David Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. Can't hear you. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. This is Scarborough, and Scarborough Center is a place to be. I can tell you that 18 years ago, well, 19, but because uh, myself and Michael go way back, and I remember when this all started, and I can tell you today I'm feeling so lifted up off the ground because this thing has gotten real, real big, and Michael told me this is a dream of his, and he's going to work it as far as he can, and I'm seeing that movement here today. I want to thank the Honorable John Tory for being here this afternoon. Michael, you're a special man, and you indeed get things done. And I'm saying this afternoon, we are here to taste every vendor along this strip of road, and I can tell you, I'm here to taste as many things as I can. I even forgot that I'm elected, and I want to thank all of you for your support. But most of all, this is a bright sunny day, and you come out to have fun. So it's not about David Smith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But guys, let's have fun. Let the children do whatever they want to do on this strip and let them enjoy themselves. As I heard the honorable member Salma Zaid said, you know, it's a place where we're gonna taste everything, eat everything, and let's have fun. Let's have fun, that's all I wanna say. Have fun, guys, thank you. My office is across the street. And when this is all over, you can drop in to see me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. Everyone, put your hands together again for MPP David Smith. And now I am delighted to introduce someone to you. Now this person is very... Oh, oh sorry, uh, Dr. Mayor. We actually have a commercial. And uh, just before you introduce his name, it really is important for us to acknowledge the great work of Chief Matthew Pegg. He was the person that coordinated all of the COVID relief along with um, uh, Dr. Davila under the leadership of the mayor and uh, the, the table officers and so on. And I just wanted to thank him so much for the great work that he has done. He's always been there for us. He's an amazing person, and I'll turn it back over to Keisha. You know, the founder gets to interfere every now and then, so this is just that one of those lifelines that I have for interference. Thank you, Keisha. Well, how can I beat that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's now call on stage Chief Matthew Pegg. Hello, Scarborough. Are we good? We're here? Yes, all right. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am that I am here, and I'm even happier that you are here. All right, it's been a long couple of years. So Deputy Mayor and Mayor Tory, and to all of my colleagues, thank you so much. I am, uh, I am so thrilled and I am so honored to have the opportunity to serve as your fire chief. And that means that uh, every single day I get to work alongside more than 3,200 women and men that come to work every day and give their all. And I think one of the things that matters to me the most is the only way that we are successful as your fire service is to be part of your community. And we are part of this community. Our firefighters are here. You will see them. They will interact. They're going to be here in and out of in and out of the celebration all weekend and know that we are really proud to be with you. Uh, we're proud of you and we're proud to serve. So on behalf of all of us, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. together again for Chief Matthew Pegg. Come on, put your hands together. I remember
remember during COVID, he worked day in, day out. He had a lots of sleepless nights. And so, Chief Peg, hats off to you. Thanks for the amazing work you have done to help us recover from COVID-19. Put your hands together again, everyone, for Chief Matthew Peg. And so at this time, I'm very happy to have this opportunity to invite someone who has done such amazing work in our community. And this person, I've had the opportunity to work with him, and he certainly has the community at heart. And so right now, I'm very happy to call on stage Inspector James Hong. Put your hands together for him as he comes. Thank you, folks. Thank you. It's great to see everybody out here. I think similar to uh, Deputy Mayor's picnic, he ordered the nice week weather for the weekend. So there's no rain at all for the next three days, so it's fantastic. Uh, I've been at 41 Division, the little station uh, up at uh, Eglinton and Birchmount for the last close to two years and working with the Deputy Mayor. And it's been fantastic from dealing with issues and uh, helping needy families over Christmas and supplying gift baskets to over 100 needy families. It's been fantastic working with Deputy Mayor and Keisha and Ehor as well. So, little station's under construction. Hopefully in the next two, three years it'll be completed and there'll be a community haven and a community meeting room where we can all meet and discuss and work together. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much, Inspector James Hong. He is one of the amazing members of the Toronto Police Service who do such an amazing job in protecting all of us in this city. Big round of applause for the Toronto Police Service and all the men's and, men and women of Toronto Police. I'm going to ask Pastor Ty just to say a couple of words and Pastor Ty, you're going to talk a little bit about your um, your raffle and the uh, item that you're raffling off for Sunday, right? Please, go ahead Pastor Ty. I lost camera! I lost camera! Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, uh, actually on Wednesday, uh, the congregation and I were here on the grounds praying and uh, Inspector Hound, we actually ordered in good weather. Yes. Okay, just to let you know. And uh, while well, we are praying for all your safety and it's going to be a wonderful time. So Scarborough, let's go ahead and have a yabba dabba do time. We have a raffle, and it's the best raffle ever. Since the 17th years we've been here at the Test of Lawrence, and our raffle this year is a rowing exercise machine. Free rowing exercise machine, come on down. And the raffle draw is on Sunday here at the main stage at 4 p.m. Hope to see you then. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Pastor Ty. So we're almost finished, ladies and gentlemen, because you have to eat in order to exercise. And I wanted Pastor Ty to tell you about the exercise machine. So if you put on a few pounds, there's a machine that's available for you. I want to thank a few people before I turn it over to uh, Michael Fang, who is uh, the chair of the board uh, for the, uh, the BIA. I just want to acknowledge Steve. Uh, who's here, Steve? Say hi. And John, say hi, board members. And I also want to invite, acknowledge Sylvester as well. Sylvester, say hello as well. Um, so I also want to thank um, Megan Medill from uh, Curated by M. Megan, thank you so much. She's right there. She is a um, great organizer, and she's been working for the last uh, seven months, Megan, seems like forever, to put this event together in collaboration with Yanni and I and the members of the board. So again, Megan, thank you so much for all that you do. I also want to thank a, an amazing lady. I saw her over there a moment ago. Her name is Linda Ray Side. She's the manager of the BIA and she does an outstanding job. I don't see her here, but thank her. Thank you, Linda. I also want to thank uh, some other folks as well. And uh, John Persley and team, all the city of Toronto staff, closing the road and then uh, all the folks from um, Board of Health to make sure that everything is safe for you. Big round of applause for these amazing men and women who work tirelessly. I want to thank our security staff. I want to thank the cleaning staff and everybody that's here. And finally, I want to thank my team, uh, Eeyore Wands. Thank you, Eeyore. Uh, Keisha Francis. Thank you, Keisha. 
Bonnie Sweetland. Bonnie, thank you so much. And I know that Ehor's uh, son, Nick, is here as well, the photographer extraordinaire. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like now to bring you the chair of the board for the BIA. He's a tremendous gift to our community. He runs a business in the community, but I would say that he actually runs the community from a social and um, someone who has a strong heart. We are pleased to collaborate with him. When there's a need for the hospital, we call him Michael. When there's a need for many things in the community, we call him Michael Fang. Michael owns Scarborough Mazdaq. He's such an institution in this community. I would now like to ask Michael Fong to come forward to address you. Michael. Thank you very much, uh, W. Mayor. And what a crowd. Thank you very much for, for being here with us. And who in, in this place, and to today, where you can find all your amazing representatives for your country and your city. From, from, uh, from, from the mayor, to Chief Peck, to James Hong, and to Sama, and to David. So thank you very much for, here, for being here with us. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm here just to wrap up and close up this, uh, this ceremony. Um, and I just want to thank this year, actually very specifically, um, Deputy Mayor uh, Thompson, who actually worked very hard to organize this event. Normally, it was just us people who just you know organize this event, but <laughs> the Deputy wants to be involved and do the actual work himself, and he worked very tirelessly to organize this event for everyone here in Scarborough, uh, 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 alongside with Yanni. So thank you very much for, for organizing the, uh, all of this for us and keeping me off the hook. Thank you. I have a special treat just for closing up. Um, so, the uh, normally we have an event just uh, just to celebrate our, our Chinese culture. Um, so we have the Lion Dance, which represents power, prosperity, and strength in our community. Um, what we do is we um, showcase the the lion just to uh, celebrate the event and to ward off evil spirits and uh, bring on luck and prosperity to our community and our neighborhood. So we have our three lions who's gonna perform for us and we will come down and wake them up to get them started. So uh, I will be down there in just a few seconds. So thanks very much for coming uh, everyone to uh, the Taste of Lawrence 2022 and put your hand together for all of us here on, on our stage. Thanks very much. Everyone, I wanted just to take this opportunity to introduce one of our amazing, amazing professionals in the city. This is the person responsible for transportation, making our city safer. This is this is our general manager for transportation, Miss Barbara Gray. Give her a round of applause, everybody. Barbara, thank you so much for being here. So what we do um, is we wake the lion to, uh, we call them paint their eyes, just to wake them up and they will be here to celebrate uh, with all of us and I have a special guest here with us. Uh, just three, just three, three. There's three lions so I will take one. Oh, just before we start, I also want to miss uh, the, the volunteers who's actually here to help us as well. So, thanks very much all the volunteers. 
Okay, uh, ready? There you go. And the next eye. And brush, brush into the back. Okay. Here we go. And it's find his eyes. Ah, now you have to stand back. You have to stand back. Give you some space. <laughs> They're going to wake in a minute. Actually, in a few seconds. So stand back a little bit. Thank you very much, Mayor, and thank you very much, Deputy uh, Mayor Thompson. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you, that was the year.